or you are with the terrorists. And that, my friends, is the definition of a true hypocrite. I tell you what, this is how I want to end this segment tonight with a classic scene from The Godfather. Take a good look because this says it all. My father's no different than any other powerful man. <laughs> any man who's responsible for other people, like a senator or a president. You know how naive you sound. Why? Senators and presidents don't have men killed. Who's being naive, Kay? So are you being naive? Break the matrix, then break your silence and join the info war. There's no doubt that our country is in serious trouble right now. And if you're wondering how on earth we ever got in this situation, well, I'll tell you how. When the Democrats showed their true colors, you got angry and you elected Republicans. And then when the Republicans showed their true colors, you got angry and elected Democrats. And when anyone suggested to you that both parties were corrupt and that neither side were looking out for your best interest, you acted like they were crazy. But the real definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's why it is vitally important that you wake up America and break the matrix. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv, and the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. And listen to The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on your mind. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just f***ing stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably notice I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Ben Carson just destroyed Barack Obama in a live news conference. One other thing. I do not remember this level of scrutiny for one President Barack Obama when he was running. In fact, I remember just the opposite. I remember people just, oh, well, we won't really talk about that. We won't talk about that relationship. Well, Frank Marshall Davis, well, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, Bernadine Dorn, Bill Ayers, well, you know, he didn't really know him. You know, all the things that Jeremiah Wright was saying, oh, not a big problem. Goes to, to Occidental College, doesn't do all that well, and somehow ends up at Columbia University. Well, I don't know. His records are still. Why is his records still? Why are you guys not interested in why his records are still? Why are you not interested in that? Let me ask that. Can somebody tell me why? Why do please? you think they are? I'm asking you why they're why it's still. Why? But, but, uh, no, 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 don't, I don't change it. I'm asking you, will someone, will someone tell me, please, why you have not investigated that? I want to know. Why are you raising it? Why? Because I want to know. You should want to know, too. The president, of, wait a minute. Hold on one minute. One second here. Now, you're saying that something that happened with the words a scholarship was offered is a big deal, but the President of the United States, his academic records being sealed is not. Well, tell me, wait a minute, tell me, how, tell, me how there, tell me how there's equivalency there. It doesn't matter where it is. Tell me how, that is a silly argument. Tell, tell me how there's equivalence there. Tell me how there is equivalence there. Tell me somebody, please. Because you see, what you're not going to find with me is somebody who's just going to sit back and let you be completely unfair without letting the American people know what's going on. And the American people are waking up to your games. Now that's the Ben Carson that we've all been waiting for, way to finally step up to the plate. And I don't imagine that the mainstream media plans on repeating this video, so it's up to you to pass this along and share it with your friends. Ben Carson destroys Barack Obama in a live press conference. That's how it's done.
Join InfoWars Tuesday, November 10th for live debate coverage. Since their last face-off, the GOP candidates have been picketed outside of sketch comedy shows, caught lying about their school records, and others have been banished to the kids' table. What stupid questions await the remaining contenders when they meet again? Donald Trump, are you a comic book villain? Ben Carson, can you do math? John Kasich, will you insult two people over here? We have $19 trillion in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al-Qaeda attacking us. And we're talking about fantasy football? Can we stop? Can pundits put aside their disdain for the participants and focus on real issues? How many times can Ronald Reagan be name dropped in two hours? Will someone wear a Hillary for Prison t-shirt? All will be revealed Tuesday, November 10th, starting at 7 p.m. Central, as InfoWars enters into another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. You were in charge of it. You were the official in charge. Did you wipe the server? What, like with a cloth or something? I don't know. You know how it works digitally. Did you try to wipe the whole thing? I don't know how it works digitally at all. Hillary Clinton's constant private email drama has taken on a new level of undeniable criminality. As the nation's chief diplomat, Hillary Clinton was responsible for ascertaining whether information in her possession was classified and acknowledged that negligent handling of that information could jeopardize national security, according to a copy of an agreement she signed upon taking the job. A day after assuming office as Secretary of State, Clinton signed a sensitive compartmented information non-disclosure agreement that laid out criminal penalties for any unauthorized disclosure of classified information. The Competitive Enterprises Institute obtained the contract through an open records request. The sensitive compartmented information non-disclosure agreement details how Hillary has been granted access to sensitive compartmented information, or SCI classified information. The agreement states that Hillary hereby acknowledges that the disclosure of SCI may constitute violations of United States criminal laws and that nothing in the agreement constitutes a waiver by the United States of the right to prosecute for any statutory violation. The agreement is also severable, meaning if one part is unenforceable, the remainder of the provisions in the agreement remain in full force and effect. Bottom line, U.S. intelligence officials determined at least four and up to 305 of the emails Hillary's aides printed out were from Hillary's personal server and were SCI at the time they were written. Two of the emails discussed classified drone information deemed top secret by the CIA. Hillary's private server was never authorized to be used for SCI. Hillary claimed she didn't know the information was classified. The New York Post reported such messages contain sensitive keywords, distinguishing them from unclassified information, even if the material didn't bear a classified heading as she claims. The secretary would have known better, the department officials say, because she was trained to understand the difference when she was read in on procedures to ID and handle classified information by diplomatic security officials in 2009. The agreement states, I understand that it is my responsibility to consult with appropriate management authorities in the department in order to ensure that I know whether information or material within my knowledge or control that I have reason to believe might be SCI. Busted. Oh sure, it's a constant distraction from the real issues and most Americans are just sick of hearing about it. But allowing Hillary to continue her vampiric rise to power would be comparable to electing Richard Nixon after he had been impeached. People have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. What difference at this point does it make? Hillary is a danger to national security, whether she is charged or not. Clearly, the iron has never been hotter. If there is any pulse at all in D.C., then federal officials will do the job that is required according to this newly released Hillary Damning Non-Disclosure Agreement. John Bound for InfoWars.com. The British are coming, the British are coming. Now the ride of Paul Revere set the nation on its ear. And the shot at Lexington heard round the world. 
When the British fired in the early dawn, the war of independence had begun. The die was cast, the rebel flag unfurled.